Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The images available to accompany the information in this video are few and far between, but it's such a fantastic discovery that I really wanted to make a video. As many of you know, LiDAR technology bounces thousands of infrared laser pulses off targeted areas of land, and the data produced helps archaeologists find hidden structures buried under dense vegetation. Because of the technology, there have been many new discoveries in recent years, and now LiDAR has made another incredible find, this time in the Bolivian Amazon of South America. Several unknown settlements connected by a network of roads, causeways, reservoirs and canals have been mapped, and these were connected to two very large settlements of the Kasarabi people, known as Katoka and Landivar. The Kasarabi people, if I've said that correctly, lived in the Lanos de Mojos region of the Amazon basin, between 500 and 1400 AD, and the new finds show that their civilization was far more extensive than previously thought. In pre-Hispanic times, this lowland tropical savanna was far more densely populated than was previously thought. When Spanish missionaries first came to the region in the 16th century, they only discovered a few isolated communities living here, and experts had long suspected that the area's pre-Hispanic population was pretty much the same. When earthworks were discovered in the 1960s, archaeologists and scientists debated whether they were man-made ruins or just natural features. But now, thanks to LiDAR, we know there are many man-made structures hiding beneath the vegetation. It wasn't sparsely populated in pre-Hispanic times at all, and to use the words of the experts, the Kasarabi people had instituted a low-density tropical urbanism across a vast area. Thousands of people could have lived here. Outside of the two main centres, we now know there were 24 smaller Kasarabi settlements, and nine of them were found for the first time in the recent LiDAR survey. As stated, they were joined by roads and causeways, and had been built in roughly concentric circles around the main two centres. We are basically learning the true extent of this largely unknown civilization for the first time. There was a ceremonial centre in the middle of each of the two large settlements, which had enormous raised platforms of earth, and these were topped by enormous pyramids. We don't know their religious beliefs, just that the platforms and pyramids were oriented to the north-northwest, the same direction as the Kasarabi burials that have been found. What this means we don't know. The extensive man-made canals and reservoirs show a good knowledge of water management. The waterways radiated out in all directions from the main settlements, and the investment of resources and labour to make them means they must have been critical to the success of the Kasarabi people. It was likely a way to control the seasonal flooding in the region, allowing the farming of maize and other crops in raised areas. It's possible they were also farming fish. Why this civilization demised we don't know, but some believe it's because of a changing climate around 1400 AD. The settlements relied on seasonal floods, and if the water management system shut down due to a changing dry climate, there is no way it could continue to support a high volume of people. Whatever the cause of the demise, the new findings do give us an incredible insight into how people urbanised a tropical Amazonian landscape, a well thought out strategic and ingenious example of historical structural planning. Experts say the archaeology, chronology and dating are extremely well studied and locked down, and interestingly, this civilization was flourishing at the same time as late Tiwanaku, which is located around 600 kilometres away. Whether the two civilizations were connected in some way we don't know, but there could well have been trading between the two civilizations. The new study from Hiko Brumers et al. at the German Archaeological Institute in Bonn has been published in Nature, and I've left a link in the description below. It is a fantastic discovery, and I'm sure we'll be learning a lot more in the future. 
Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.